Okay, so the unwritten rules. Now, obviously, this course is designed to talk a lot about strategy, tactics, systems, and things that you can implement into your Amazon business. But I also believe how you do things matter. What you stand for matters. The ethical code that you live your life by matters. And I wanted to outline the unwritten rules that I have for myself and the expectations that I have for members of this FBA Blueprint community so that we're all locking arms with the same moral code and that we hold ourselves to the same expectations of each other. So the key point of this video is really just to outline the critical moral code that we hold each other accountable to. So there's really three things for me that should underpin everything that we do and how we behave within this community. The first is integrity, the second is honor, and the third is ownership. So in the FBA Blueprint community, we carry ourselves with a shared value system. This keeps us all aligned, it keeps us all focused, and it informs the decisions that we make. So the first one is integrity. And really, we carry ourselves with integrity at all times in everything that we do. This includes vendors, employees, community members, and even competitors. So another way to look at this is, is that we do unto others how we would want others to do unto ourselves, right? So we treat people with respect. We do things truthfully. We don't lie. We don't do sneaky things. We're not untransparent. We don't try to screw people over. It sounds cheesy, but literally, if you wouldn't want anything done to you in that manner, you should not act in that way to others. So don't steal ideas. Don't cause harm to others, even competitors. Don't share the course. I know that it's super common in the space for a couple buddies or a group of folks in a mastermind. One person buys it and shares it. Put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this. I just ask that you guys don't share or steal the course. And then here's kind of an item that really guides a lot of how I live my life, but do the right thing, especially when it's the hard thing. It's obviously easy to act in integrity when things are going well and when you have tailwinds. It's a lot harder to have integrity when you're under the gun, when you're under pressure, when you're under stress, and you don't know a way out. This is when people tend to resort to the easy path, to stealing, to lying, to not doing what they say they're going to do, to hurting other people, to hurting competitors. That's just not what we're about in the FBA Blueprint community. Do the right thing, especially when it's the hard thing. And just remember that trust takes a very long time to build and it's quick to lose. So when you act outside of integrity, that's the easiest and quickest way to lose trust. Honor is another thing that underpins our efforts. We adhere to what is right and what is ethical. Some of this stuff is obvious. Some of this stuff is just being a good human being. And then finally, ownership guides how we evaluate our actions and outcomes. So this one honestly gets me a little bit uh, choked up when I think about it. But this uh, gentleman here, this is actually a photo in Tanzania, Africa with a buddy of mine, uh, Clint Eastman. And uh, Clint had a famous saying and it was, uh, it's on me. So whether it was something that he did, something that his team did, he always took ownership of the outcome that happened and would always just say, it's on me. So Clint battled, I want to say a two-year battle with colon cancer, ended up actually succumbing to it, uh, so he's no longer with us. But for me, he embodied really extreme ownership and that he took absolute control of any of the outcomes that happened in his life. And he carried himself with that uh, almost unnecessarily. You know, that there's some people that are just, you know, own things that aren't even their fault. That was what Clint was about. So when I think about ownership, I think about Clint's famous saying, it's on me. And I ask that people in the FBA Blueprint community carry themselves with ownership, realize that it's their thoughts, it's their actions, it's things that they need to take control of. Even when bad things happen to them, you need to own the fact that you control how you process that bad thing 
and you control the mentality that you have to overcome it. So cheers, Clint. Glad we were able to integrate you into the course.